Hi, so I did a, uh, a blog post the other day about how to add uh, the jesting uh, or the jest test framework into uh, an existing uh, Next.js app. So one of the things that's really nice about uh, Next.js is it will work with multiple different uh, testing frameworks. Uh, I personally like to use Jest because uh, I've used it before using uh, other application frameworks and it seems to work very well with React. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is do a quick video to show how you can add Jest to an existing Next.js app. So one of the conventions they have that's pretty nice is when you're going to scaffold out a brand new Next.js app, uh, you can actually include Jest as the testing framework as one of the example scaffolds they'll do. But for this, what I want to do is show how you can add it to an already existing Next.js app. And uh, it, that's a little bit, it's not very clear in the documentation exactly how to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do it here real quick. So let's come over here and take a look at my, my screen. Here's my original blog post. I also had this up on Medium. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here into my terminal and I am going to create a new Next.js app, but without Jest. So we'll go ahead, we'll create this. It's going to ask me for a name. I'm going to call this Next App. And it's coming in here and it's scaffolding all the different uh, parts that we need to create a new Next.js app. And it's going through and resolving the packages. And voila, so now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna CD, change directory to our next app. And I'm going to do yarn dev to start up my dev server. And now we've come here, we can see that uh, Next.js is running. And this is a uh, home page that they scaffold out when you're creating a brand new project. It says, welcome to Next.js in the header. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add uh, Jest and some other testing frameworks in here. So let's go ahead and kill the server. And now that I've done that, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in yarn add Jest. And I'm going to add a couple testing frameworks. So I'm going to do the at testing library. And we're going to point that to React. And let's see here. We can also do the same thing with the just with the testing framework or the testing library here. And the just dash DOM. And one more framework we need to add in here is going to be the just. environment dash js dom and these are the four modules you need in order to be able to use jest and i'm going to add these as dev dependencies so i'm going to use the dash dash dev flag and this is going to go through and it's going to pull down those modules and those will be all the modules we need in order to do the uh, do the testing so once that's done, one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to, have to create a uh, file uh, that's going to be our config file for Jess, so Jess knows how to how to process this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here into Visual Studio Code, and here we can see uh, there's a next config file. I'm going to add a Jest. config file. Now I've added that. I'm just going to paste this in here. And this is kind of like a standard. They have this on their documentation that I also have in my post. This is the config file that I'm going to be using for, for Jest. Now that's done, we need to actually add a unit test. So I'm going to come over here and actually before I do that, I'm going to create a folder here. And there's a convention that's used with Jest where if you create a folder that's called underscore underscore tests underscore underscore and put any of your tests in here, this is where I'll look for any unit tests. So now that I've done that, I'm going to create a unit test in here. I'm going to call this index.test.js. And this file will be our first, uh, our first unit test. 
and let's just copy this unit test in here. So here's our first unit test. And if we look and see what this is doing here, this is actually pretty simple. What it's going to do is it's going to uh, grab a render and a screen function off of this uh, testing library. We're going to take our home page uh, and we're going to uh, render it here inside of our unit test. Take a look and see if we can't find a heading that contains welcome to Next.js. This is what we want. And we make one more change here because uh, we're going to need to take this uh, config and export it out so that uh, Jess can see it. And now that we've done that, we just need to make one more change. The last change we need to do is come here to the package.json and we are going to go to the script section and we're going to add a test runner. And we're going to call this Jest, just like that, and save that. So now, if I come into my npm scripts and I go down here to test and I go to run this, let's see if it runs that. And sure enough, it's found the test and it passed. So one more thing I'm going to do here for extra credit here is that one of the things that's nice about Jest is that you can also do a code coverage report as part of your as part of your test. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to add the dash dash coverage flag. Save that. Come here and run that again. And now it gives me a code coverage report as part of that uh, test. So real quickly, that's how you can uh, easily add uh, Jest into your Next.js app. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, also, if you like this content, you want to see more of it, please you know give me a, a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give me a thumbs down, but please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Have a good day.